Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. It's time to unbox and take a look at the Blue Pure XR, a device that's $300, comes with a 1080p display, four gigs of RAM, octa-core processor, so it looks pretty promising on paper. And they also talk about a 3D touch feature that's available on this device, so I'm kind of excited to try that out. But let's go ahead and open it up, show you what's in the box, and also give some of my first impressions. All right, to start, let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the box where it gives off some specs, letting you know 5.5 inch Super AMOLED 1080p display, uh, fingerprint sensor, 3000 milliamp hour battery, and just other various ones as well. So there you go, it also says super strong curved Corning Gorilla Glass 3. So we'll take a look at that as well. So slide this open and you have the device as usual and we can take it out of the plastic. Uh, again, more specs. It does come with Android 6.0, which as of right now is not the latest anymore. So. Uh, that is going to be a common thing in all my videos. So now it looks like when I take this off, it has a screen protector below those specs. So I'm going to take that off as well, just because I like to review devices without screen protectors on it. But it is nice that it did come with one kind of pre-applied for you. Now, um, it does feel pretty light, actually. I'm kind of surprised at how light this feels. On the back, it lets you know there's SIM 1 and SIM 2 slots as well. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and peel this plastic off. And it does have a uh, metal unibody design. It has a nice accent. I kind of like that, that little light blue accent. I'll get a closer look in just a second. Uh, but let's go ahead and turn it on. It's fairly thin and light as well. That's uh, one thing I'm noticing. So now continuing on, let's go ahead and see what else is in the box. Now you have your SIM injector tool. You have what looks like a, an adapter, USB Type-C and USB Type-A input. As you can see, so you just have a bit of an adapter there, which is nice to include. Now moving on, you have your charging cable, USB Type-C. As you can see, so the device does have Type-C, which is great because that is becoming the new standard now. A uh, fairly larger AC adapter, but it did say it does have quick charge, which is good to see. Um, now you have some headphones, which are always great that uh, they include some extra goodies for you. Like I said, that screen protector looks like they have some headphones right here as well. So you could take a look at those. And now let's go ahead and continue on. You have some booklets. Something that you should never eat as well. Uh, so PureXR booklets, dual SIM installation guide. Uh, you have a case as well. So it looks like somewhat opaque case. And then it looks like down at the bottom here is another screen protector. So that first one may not necessarily be as good as this screen protector. But hey, if you want to go ahead and try it without one, you can always add another one at the end. But uh, real quick, I want to go ahead and slide this case uh, on the device so you can kind of just take a look. Uh, it does cover the buttons on the right here. Up the top, cutouts, uh, not completely centered with the microphone, but still doesn't cover up the microphone by any means. You're going to have to take it off to eject uh, your SIM card, and then on the back with the camera, absolutely fine with the cutouts as well. As I mentioned, here's a closer look at that uh, blue band strip, and actually upon closer inspection, you'll see right here, it's just a little lopsided in this specific corner right here. So. Uh, didn't do a great job at making sure that was completely straight, but overall that was about the only uh, blemish part I've seen on this blue strip, but it's still a nice accent color. Um, I do really like the look of it in general. And then here's a closer look at those buttons on the side, volume and power, uh, which do actually shake a little bit. As you can see, I can kind of move them right there, which gives it a little bit of a cheaper feel uh, being able to do that. I'll talk more when I do a full review of this device, of course. And then your speaker, USB Type-C, microphone, and headphone jack as well at the bottom. Now, one more thing in regards to those volume rocker shaking and power button. It does make a little noise when you shake the device. So listen, I'm going to do this a little bit over my microphone. So that specific noise is actually the uh, volume rockers and power button shaking back and forth when you uh, actually shake the device. Not sure you're going to be shaking the device very much, but it gives you an idea of that it does actually uh, wobble a little bit. Now, let's go ahead and uh, turn on the device, and you'll see skipped any startup and went straight to the home screen. The front, you have two capacitive buttons, bottom right, bottom left, and a home button along with the fingerprint scanner as well. Um, let's go ahead and unlock this device. Looks like it did take me straight to the startup um, with Blue's skin they have. No, uh, no app drawer, as you can see. You swipe up from the bottom and get you to those quick toggles, which I kind of like. Uh, a lot of people may not like that, but I don't mind having swipe up from the bottom and the top. Top for notifications, bottom for other settings. That is not a problem for me. Let's go to About Device. Android 6.0, so not on Android 6.0.1, just Android 6.0 at the moment. Now in the bottom left is your back button and then the bottom right is your recent apps button. So you'll see recent apps, you have a clear all button as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back 
um, and go back to their home screen. And now I kind of want to set up that fingerprint scanner. Now real quick, looking at the hardware of the fingerprint scanner, when you tap on it and don't actually press the button, it does move a little bit and makes a little bit of noise, as you can see. So hopefully you can kind of see it moving just a little bit. And that's me clicking it. So a little bit of a cheap feel to that home button as well, just kind of moves a little bit if you don't even actually press it. But let's go ahead and set up that fingerprint scanner. All right, place your finger here. Let's go ahead and just drop my thumb down. Looks like it's gonna take a bit of time to actually completely register my thumb, which is fine. As long as the fingerprint scanner works great, then I have no problem with having this setup take a little bit longer than other devices. So here we go. Um, I'm gonna hit done. So this fingerprint was added successfully. So uh, using a secure password, unlock guest mode, easy unlock as well. So let's go ahead and go to our lock screen now and test this guy out. So with that lock screen, you also notice a bit of an animation with the clock, calendar. Let's go ahead and try and unlock. It says enter password or fingerprint. Let's drop it down and there we go, unlocked it. Now I'm gonna try and do it without pressing a button. So you can't, you have to actually physically wake up the device, which is fine because you can just press the button right here and it unlocks it. So that was very quick as well. So kind of keep that in mind. Let's try it once more. One, two, three, unlocks it. So seems to be pretty quick of a fingerprint scanner. Let's try one more where it's not a registered finger and just vibrates finger identity failed. So overall seems very quick. And uh, I actually do really like the speed of this fingerprint scanner. As usual in all my unboxings, I want to go ahead and go into uh, storage settings. So advanced, let's go to storage and USB and you'll see out of the 64 gigs being used, 11.8 of them are full. So that's right out of the box. I haven't installed anything. I haven't set up any accounts. Uh, and it does have a micro SD card slot as well. So that's really not too big of a deal at all. And of course, 64 gigs is still a decent amount of space. Now let's go ahead and open up that camera and I want to snap a couple pictures. So that was the first time I loaded it up. Let's go ahead and focus, snap a picture. So shutter speed seems fairly quick, as you can see. Let's try a close up focus. That looked okay. So let's take a look at one of these that I took. So just once, uh, system alert, welcome to the gallery. Okay, so this is just that close up. Doesn't look bad. Um, obviously these are a little blurry because I was moving the camera around pretty quick. So that's totally fine. Let's go to the one where the first one I took. Um, so yeah, here we go. So here's one of them I took. Seems pretty good. Obviously this is good lighting scenario, so it, it should be uh, very good, but I'll take a little bit more pictures in the future. Uh, overall, it does have their, their skin over. We have some uh, a bunch of different modes. Professional mode is available, for those of you wondering. So ISO, shutter speed, focus, all that good stuff. You can uh, mess around with that if you do like to do that. Now, finally, I want to show off that 3D touch feature, which is pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and try it with the camera. I'm going to press and hold the camera, and you'll see it allows me, as usual, to move an icon around. But now, I'm going to go ahead and press and push in on the the device so it's a pressure sensitive device so let's go ahead and push in it says selfie video or snapshot so let's go ahead and switch it to selfie opens up that front facing camera real quick now let's try it with let's say phone i'm going to push in and new contact pops up i'm not exactly sure how many of these apps are actually uh, 3d touch enabled you see add alarm timer uh, chronometer let's try calculator looks like calculator didn't open anything up messenger no, it looks like Messenger didn't open anything up either. So you're just going to have to mess around. I'll, I mean, I'll have to mess around and see what specific apps work. But uh, pretty cool, pretty interesting uh, that they've implemented that into Android because obviously it's not a very common thing. But overall, that would be the Blue Pure XR. My first initial thoughts. Click that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Overall, with a $300 device, seems like they're going to have to make a couple sacrifices in terms of maybe build quality of these buttons. Uh, that casing a bit of an issue and of course that could be just my device it doesn't necessarily mean all of them are going to be like that so keep that in mind but overall seems pretty promising of course with their blue skin you can add a third party launcher if you'd like to um, and that 3D Touch, pretty interesting feature as well. I'm pretty excited to actually test it out and use it in a real world scenario. So more to come pretty soon. So click that subscribe button. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links in the description below. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.